Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Powerful Plant Allies. So today, you guessed it, we're talking about echinacea. Now, echinacea is a flowering perennial that is native to North America and Southern Canada. Uh, it's a part of the Asteraceae family, and it's actually cultivated throughout the entire world for its powerful medicinal benefits. Echinacea can grow up to four feet tall with a stem that is covered with trichomes. They have lance, sometimes ovate shaped leaves and have toothed margins. The upper side of the leaf is a beautiful dark green and has a few small white trichomes. The flowers are a hot topic for pollinators. They have a gorgeous blend of pink and purple in their petals. The petals form in a ring around a center cone. The cone is coated with sharp spines. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look through this beautiful patch of echinacea uh, and we're going to see which one is going to offer itself up to be pulled out of the ground so we can take a look at the roots. Now we've got some white sage right here. Uh, we're going to break this up. We're going to offer it up to the plant. Remember, I've stated this in many of the other videos, to always ask permission before harvesting any plant, even if it's in your own garden, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Uh, sit with the plants for a couple of minutes, offer up some stuff to them, and then we'll get back to you and we'll show you what the roots look like. So we're here, we're just hanging out, and uh, after a couple of minutes of looking around at this patch, this plant right here is what called out to us. So we sat with him for a little bit, and we felt its energy, spoke to it a little bit, and uh, it offered itself up for the sake of this video and uh, for the use that we'll put to it. So what we're going to do now is we have some sacred white sage here. We're gonna offer this down to the plant as a form of exchange. Uh, and then we're going to harvest it so you guys can take a look at the roots, okay? So thank you very, very, very much. So what I like to do is I like to kind of take my hands, place them right next to the plant, uh, and send your chi energy through your hands down to the roots of the plant. Just kind of close your eyes and meditate a little bit. Speak to the plant a little bit. Internal dialogue. Uh, feel its energy right next to you really get to know the plant, get very up close and personal with it, especially because it's offering itself up to you. Just sit for a couple minutes and you'll know when it's time to harvest. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm just gonna gently pull this guy out of the ground. Take a look at that. Now, let's get a closer look here so you can see what we're looking at. It's got some fibrous roots here, but if you look even closer than that, you can see a rhizome. And a rhizome is actually a plant's modified stem. And the rhizomes hold nutrients like starches and proteins for the plant to consume while it's in dormancy in the winter months. With echinacea, the rhizome is where the medicinal jackpot is. You'll see in tinctures and capsules, uh, it'll say uh, echinacea root really is a rhizome. You can use the flowers as well, but this is really the prized possession right here. Now we're going to talk about the benefits of utilizing echinacea. Like I stated, the rhizome is the most potent part of the plant. It is iconically used for its ability to strengthen the immune system. You can make a decoction of the rhizomes or tincture them for the full benefit. The juice from the aerial parts of the plant can be applied directly on cuts and wounds to induce healing. You can use the juice while it's fresh, or you can use the aerial parts to create a powerful healing salve. The juice from the leaves have also been used to treat gingivitis. Echinacea has been used for its ability to fight colds, fevers, coughs, bronchitis, and many inflammatory ailments. Studies have shown that due to the plant's antioxidant and blood purifying properties, it can help to maintain a healthy blood sugar level. It also has the ability to lower high blood pressure. Echinacea has been effective in treating people with anxiety and depression. Now, as with any form of medicine, there are always cautions. Echinacea may cause allergic reactions to those who suffer from any allergies related to plants within the Asteraceae family. Not much is known about echinacea's use while pregnant, so avoid it. Do not take this plant if you're currently on any immunosuppressants. The use of this plant may also cause diarrhea, dizziness, vomiting, and skin rashes. Stop the use of this plant immediately if you experience any of these. 
Know your body and always know what you're putting into it. Ask a doctor or physician when you're starting new medicine, whether that's plant or pharmaceutical, they can have very helpful input. As with any harvest, it's important to do so respectfully. Practice plant respect, plant communication. Even if echinacea is on your own property, sit with her and ask her if it's okay for you to harvest her, okay? Treat them with the same respect that you would want yourself to be treated, all right? These are not inanimate objects. These are living, breathing beings. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit about echinacea. And if you knew all the stuff I talked about today, I hope it was a little bit of a refresher for you, okay? Give us a like, comment, subscribe. Comment especially if there are uses about echinacea that I did not touch upon, or if there are any cautions with echinacea that I did not touch upon as well. I'd love to hear them, okay? Take care, guys. Be safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Peace to you.